Okay, so this is the AWS Reinforced Keynote, and let me just take you through the highlights really quickly. First off, so he just started by talking about AI, generative AI. No, actually he did not. He started by talking about his FBI days where he was profiling cyber criminals and how AWS has also been quite influential in the way they're able to make the internet a safer place for a lot of people by the millions of data points they collect to help customers be away from DDoS attacks, bot protection, and a lot more. Then he spoke about the evolution of AWS where when they first started, they were using something called the Zen Supervisor. Then they moved on to something called the Nitro Supervisor, which was pen tested by NCC Group by the start of the UK to give a green light for how amazing that thing is. After that, there was mention of container security and how Firecracker has been influential in improving the way container security works in general. He also spoke about the Digital Audio Symposium, which allows auditors to virtually visit the data center so they can actually see what the data centers for AWS is like without physically having to go in there. Then he also spoke about the responsibility AWS has by not just protecting the customers, he also spoke about the fact how the evolution of ransomware has changed on to become wiperware, where instead of just blocking access to the data, now people are removing the data altogether as a way of revenge, or how are we going to say it? They started first seeing this when Ukraine war started happening, and this was actually seen quite often across the Ukraine region, and now I believe it's much wider, and hence the reason for them to talk about AWS Backup, as well as something called AWS Backup Vault Log. AWS Backup Vault Log is a tamper-proof system where you want to put the data into the AWS Backup Vault Log without the policy being expired, it cannot be changed. So if you set the policy for 10 years, you cannot do anything to the data for 10 years, which obviously is a good remediation for things like ransomware as well as wiperware or anything else that comes after that. And then there was Becky who came in to talk about how they are changing zero trust, or at least the definition of what they have been doing about zero trust for a long time. There are things available that you can do today, which helps you to go down the path of a zero trust architecture. She spoke about the fact that from an identity perspective, initially it was verified access. Now they are able to do verified permissions as well. Now verified access for people who don't know what that was, that was basically instead of using VPN, you can use your AWS service to connect to services and AWS verified permission that got released today talks about how you can have services that can make sure that the authorization for services that are available or applications that are built in AWS can be managed centrally by using a CDR policy. Which is pretty amazing because technically for people who have spent a lot of the time in IAM like myself and others, this is probably the biggest problem where people talk about authentication versus authorization. Authorization becoming how granular can you really go? You can't really go so granular that you can't even use the system but how do you find a balance? That's where it comes from. After that she also spoke about zero trust from a network security perspective where it's not a the network parameter is not a thing however it says their network parameter is still a thing it's more about zero trust and network control and for this they announced three more additions to the guard duty which is kind of transition if you look at it we spoke about preventative which allows for you to access or before that she also spoke about aws ec2 connect endpoint which is basically a secure way to access ec2 instances using a private endpoint yep that's right i think there were some providers in this space so they might find this bit a competitive action against them but i'm sure they have a more wholesome solution but for aws specific resources where you're, if you have the entire thing on aws now they also have a solution called amazon ec2 connect endpoint which they should check out now these are all preventative controls they also spoke about how the detective controls work as well amazon guard duty got three more additions they had support for aurora eks as well as threat detection coverage and amazon inspector gets addition for code scans for lambda as as form exports which can be done straight away into s3 bucket then there was a customer of aws debbie wheeler from delta airline she's a CISO and svp over there she came and spoke about how the three things that they care about at delta for security i like the third one the most which was around safety first always but first one was top to bottom security the second one is holding accountability if you make it you break it you build it you manage it so that was great from an accountability perspective people who are building the solution are also the one who are fixing it and the other one was and my favorite safety first always after the cj came back on stage he spoke about security lake quantum computing the global partnership that they have going on he also announced that the amazon core security would have a security extension which would help you resolve core vulnerabilities and finally he also spoke about quantum crypto and how they're also preparing for the future where if and when quantum computing becomes a thing something like an rsa which at the moment takes billions of years to break would only take a day to break an rsa algorithm so they're already preparing for it they had something called the post quantum crypto which you can do a verification for but overall it was a great conversation did i miss anything you will leave a comment if you feel i've missed anything but that was primarily the main messaging from the entire aws reinvent there was no announcement for when the next reinforce would be so i'm looking forward to maybe at the reinvent there might be an announcement for it but overall great conference got to speak to a lot of people and looking forward to speaking to a lot more people and doing a whole recap when you come back to london i'll see you then peace thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey where we're just getting started let's build trust and secure the future together